A very good afternoon. I'm Dr. Malti. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and implantologist. I'm practicing in Partha Dental, Bangalore. So uh, as a uh, Partha Dental employee, I would like to tell about my organization that we are the most successful corporate dental chain in South India with about 120 branches, which is widely spread in Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Bangalore. So as an oral and maxillofacial surgeon, I would like to tell about my speciality that it is a branch in dentistry, which the doctors are specialized and trained to treat various diseases, injuries and defects of the orofacial region. So I would tell that how am I related to uh, my oral and maxillofacial surgery in Partha Dental. So we have a well-trained team of oral and maxillofacial surgeons as Partha Facial Team, which is headed by our senior doctor, by Dr. Raj Shekhar sir. So we train, we are here trained to do various oral and maxillofacial surgical treatments, which I will be naming. So starting from the basic extractions and impactions, cysts and tumors, and we have our uh, maxillofacial trauma, orofacial infections, orthognathic surgeries, and cleft lip and palate, temporomandibular joint disorders, and uh, uh, not oral malignancies, last but not the least, implantology. So there are different different treatments which we come across in Partha Facial on a day-to-day -day treatment procedures. So I would like to tell a few of the procedures which we commonly do in our Partha Facials uh, and would explain about the signs and symptoms and various diseases, how we diagnose and how we are going to treat the diseases. So now coming back to the, the, the most basic procedure is nothing but an extraction, is a removal of a tooth. So when do we have to remove a tooth? So when there is a dental caries or a cavity, which is a very common dental disease. So if it's not timely treated, the tooth may get destructed because of which uh, the normal filling, it is it's destructed beyond its repair. Like uh, in the normal initial conditions, probably we can save a tooth with the restorative procedures like filling or a root canal treatment. When the tooth is beyond re repair or it's destructed widely, then probably we'll have to go for a removal. It's nothing but an extraction of a tooth. So, and then in other, com other common condition where we advise for an extraction is when the tooth is fractured, that when you fall or generally when we, when we experience fall, the tooth breaks off. It's like between uh, to beyond some extent where we can't do the normal respiratory procedures. So then we do advise the patient for an extraction. So uh, what are the signs and symptoms? Uh, the most common signs and symptoms would be pain and discomfort while having extreme cold and hot are the common symptoms for these diseases. So how are we going to treat? First, we will any and every diseases have two things. First is we will clinically check with the patients that how how which tooth is affected, and we would have to take a radiograph to confirm that exist whatever we have diagnosed at the preliminary level. So with our clinical as well as the radiographics, we come to a conclusion with our diagnosis. We get a diagnosis for which we will formulate our treatment plan. So extraction is one of the common. Uh, diseases which we treat in our part of the facial which is very very common and after that next comes the most common would be the impacted tooth so what is an impacted tooth a tooth which fails to erupt to its normal position because of many reasons because of uh, lack of space or the tooth is has getting a barrier which is an obstacle which is letting it erupt in its normal position or maybe because of uh, the ecto the position of the tooth is not favorable so it is not able to come to its normal position so what are the signs and symptoms that patient would experience when a tooth is impacted and before this i want to tell which is the most commonly impacted tooth would be the lower third molars which is very commonly we come across on day-to-day -day practice so once the tooth is impacted what happens see the most common signs and symptoms with an impacted tooth would be pain and the two in that region that is in the third molar region and the right and left we have third molars and uh, pain in that region and then difficulty in opening and closing the mouth and uh, a kind of discharge which they feel a foul breath or discharge from that particular region with the common signs and symptoms. So then we'll have to check for the condition, what is the source of an infection or discomfort for the patient and then we would take uh, advice for radiograph which we do in all our clinics and then we would have to decide what would be the treatment plan. No, normally it would be to remove the tooth because it is present in a state where it is not, not in, normally doesn't come into normal occlusion. So in such conditions we would take a call for removal of a tooth. So these are the most common and simple basic procedures which we do. And apart from that I want to speak about the procedures which is like major surgical procedures which we do in Partha facials. So starting from the orofacial infections. 
So what are these orofacial infections? It's nothing but, it would be of two types preferably and commonly. It is like from odontogenic, nothing but it will be associated, the orofacial infections which would be associated with the tooth or maybe because of the microorganisms. So the one which is, I will tell how we're going to diagnose and treat the infections like abscess, cellulitis or space infections which happen in orofacial region because of tooth. So when the tooth is uh, like repaired, destructed and the infection has occurred and it's not treated, it keeps spreading. So once the infections, uh, we have to see what are the signs of infection, signs and symptoms of in space, space infections. It's very common with like all the tooth orofacial infections but generally half with pain in the region of infection. Then swelling is what we come across and then apart from that difficulty in uh, opening and closing the mouth, foul taste, bad breath are the common signs and symptoms. Apart from that we do uh, patients with space infections would generally also have a rise in temperature or fever. So we have to diagnose the disease which is causing this infection and treat it. Either we have to go for a root canal treatment and or we may have to go for a removal of a tooth and drain the infection or the pus whatever is formed needs to be drained. So that and this all will be done along with the antibiotic on a microbial therapy. We will put the patients on antibiotics or medications to control the infection and we will do the necessary treatments. So this is one uh, other common condition that is orofacial infections and then coming back to the cyst and tumors. So what are these cysts and tumors? Cysts are nothing but a sack of tissue which has which would be filled with air or with fluids and tumor is a type of growth which will be associated with the bone or the uh, tissues around the bone or jaw bones or around the bone. So there are cysts and tumors which would be uh, which we also treat in our partha facials where uh, we have to we generally check whether it is associated with the tooth or not associated with the tooth. We call it as odontogenic and non-odontogenic. So uh, based on the diet, on these conditions, we will be doing different types of treatments with after the clinical examination that we check the patient, find the what would be the probable etiology or the reason behind this infection and then we would advise for a CT but after this we will come to a diagnosis and a treatment plan. So what are the common uh, when the patient have cysts and tumors, what are the treatments which are generally carried out? We call uh, based on the extent of the disease or the aggressiveness of the disease, all the involvement of the associated structures, how big or huge or it's associating to the either anatomical structures, we will see what kind of treatment needs to be done. Either it needs to be done in the clinic in local anesthesia or to be done under general anesthesia. So this all depends upon what kind of cyst or tumor it is and what would be the extent of the tumor. So based on that, we would decide either to be done under local anesthesia or to be done on general anesthesia. So the various procedures, we will name it as enucleation, mass stabilization. It's nothing but clearing of the infection off from the region. And then if after clearing off or the infection, we fill the defect with grafts, various grafts because there would be a defect, there is an empty space where the infection was there. Once we clear off, there would be an empty space which would be filled with the bone grafts. So if ever it is involving to a wider segment or it's huger or it's very bigger in its size and uh, involvement, then we will have to do a segmental resection or remove the part of the disease and reconstruct it or the defect whatever has happened because of the cyst or the tumor. Either we have a reconstruction plates and screws by which we reframe the defect or make it like how it used to look before and then uh, we used to give implant or sometimes we even do based on the condition we even opt for grafts like we different parts of the uh, grafts will be harvested and where we will place implants and we would have to uh, give the normal uh, aesthetic or the function for the patient that the patient will be losing because of the cyst or the tumor. So apart from the cyst and tumors, the next most common would be the maxillofacial trauma. So what is this maxillofacial trauma which we commonly see in the road traffic accidents or when you have falls or maybe because of interpersonal violence, the, there is fractures of the bone or discontinuity in the bone or the soft tissues of the facial region is called which we come across the injury, maxillofacial injuries. So the, the common signs and symptoms are when you see in a maxillofacial trauma is nothing but bruises and bleedings and cuts and lacerations on the face and the neck regions and the patients once the fresh facial bones are fractured the patient will experience difficulty in opening closing mouth swallowing saliva difficulty in breathing and he'll not the patients will have unable to uh, he will have tingling or the difference in the sensation of the facial region 
So these are the common signs and symptoms patient experiences and the bleeding of course. So we'll have to see uh, clinically we will examine what are the bones which will be will probably be involved in the fractures. We will again take a radiograph with a CT and then find out if, whether how many bones are the facial bones, what is the extent of the fracture. So based on that it will again be decided whether we will do in our clinical setup in local anesthesia or we will have to hospitalize the patient and get it done under general anesthesia. So whatever the bones have, bones has been fractured, we'll have to reposition back in its place and we will plate with the screws and plates and make the patient, betterment of the patient with the surgery, surgical procedures. So this is maxillofacial trauma which we'll be treating in our partha facials. And apart from this, we, will, we are also dealing with orthognathic surgery. So what is this orthognathic surgery? So we have few facial deformities like uh, uh, skeletal discrepancies we call that this is the upper bone and the lower bone. It, there would be some discrepancies that it would be forwardly placed or backwardly placed or the facial height would not be proportional, it would be height would be more or less like that there are few facial discrepancies. So based on the amount of discrepancies we do a uh, radiographic analysis, we do orthographic like cephalometric analysis, we study based on the clinical and the radiographic presentation what would be the right diagnosis and the treatment plan. So we will have to reposition the jaw bones to betterment of the facial profile. So that's called orthognathic surgery which we do practice in parthofacials which is all these are all the various common procedures we are doing in our parthofacial. So apart from orthognathic surgery we also treat oral malignancies. Uh, that what is an oral malignancy is nothing but cancers of orofacial region which is also not as common as the other diseases but still do exist. So or of, uh, the malignancies which uh, do happen related to the uh, oral mucosa or the tongue or the bones the, all the malignancies of orofacial region are also being treated in or a part of facial surgery. So we will be a uh, uh, there are different stages of malignancies which we would stage it and based on the stages there will be radiotherapy, there will be chemotherapy and surgical procedures which we are doing now in part of facials. So we will have to stage the disease and based according to the stages of the disease the di uh, we would give you the treatment plan what would be the best for patient according to his existing conditions. Apart from all these, we do very uh, extensively practice implantology. So I would not explain much on implantology because you would find in our Partha YouTube videos much on implants. So as an oral and maxillofacial surgeon, I have briefed up all the various surgical procedures what uh, we do in our Partha facial very much in brief and every individual topic we would preferably explain in much in detail with the video also. Uh, in the further YouTube videos, you can watch it, you can like and subscribe and share all our videos. Thanks for giving me your valuable time and watching this video. Thanks once again.